Blame it all on fake He's the one who got us thinking love was something fake My camera keeps telling me that my like card, my SD card doesn't fucking work I'm like bitch, it works perfectly fine Also my dad is watching a movie in the background so I'm sorry if it's annoying First off, I'm gonna link like all the products that I use down below because I'm not a makeup guru So for the first thing that I did, I put on this like Neutrogena like moisturizer gel thing I saw that Jessie Smiles was using that and she like recommended it so I picked that up it was a it was like $16 but like I've had this for a couple weeks and I haven't even like made a dent in it yet so that's good I like it um when I actually fucking use it because obviously I haven't really been using it every day like I should be Okay, so now I'm going to start getting ready. Um, let me wet my beauty blender one second. Also, yes, I know my room is a mess. Um, I literally clean it and then like fucking three days later, it looks like this again. So, uh, yeah. Alright, first we're going to do my eyes. I saw this one trend on TikTok where you put primer and then setting spray on. And it's supposed to like last longer. I've been really liking it for my face, but I haven't totally tried it out on my eyes yet. So we're gonna do that. Also, I have no idea what movie my dad is watching. But yeah. So, um, I'm gonna talk about my job. Oh my god. I just fucking fell. I'm gonna use this palette that I got at Target for like $10. It's honestly, it's like okay. You have to like dig into like some of the things to get the pigment out. And other things they're like you fucking like touch it and all of it comes onto your fingers. So I think I'm gonna do this like white look that I've been doing for the past like three days. So I'm gonna get a brush. Is this my brush that I use? I don't know. Oh, I should probably put on some foundation first. Duh. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so my job. Um, I work at a restaurant. I'm like a house worker. Is this recording? Yeah. Okay, thank god. Um, and I polish silverware and roll silverware. And the person that like scoops all the butter into those little dishes for your bread. What else do I do? I like help run food to the table if the servers can't do it, which is like a lot of the time. Also, let me tell you, those plates sometimes are fucking hot. Like I burn my hands on those plates and it's ridiculous. Sorry, I just dropped something. But yeah, I think that's like my only con is that like my fucking hands burn. Also, I should also say my feet fucking hurt. We have to wear these like special shoes so you don't fucking slip and fall, which makes no sense because like they only wash the floor in the morning and then like at night. So like there's not really a time to fucking fall. So, and they're like the most uncomfortable shoes ever, so I have to buy like insoles for them, so like literally my feet fucking hurt all the time. So, yeah. Um, my coworkers are great. I don't have really anyone that I have like beef with. Oh my god. Some of these like eyeshadows are like real chunky. Um. <clears throat> I got this like during the Halloween time. It's like this like hollow glitter thing. I can't even like fucking show you. It's like hollow and pretty and shit. Okay. So <laughs> I just kind of rub this everywhere. I will say this does like bunch up in the creases. So I try not to like go near there. I just try to put it like on my like lower lid and then like 
some on the outside. So I want to look like I'm at a party all the time. So fun. So um, let me tell you some work stories. Is this? I get paid like twelve fifty an hour, which is pretty good. That's like close to like the highest I've ever been paid. Like for Target when I worked there for like seasonal. I got $13 an hour, so it's not that far from it, so it's not bad. So yeah, I really like it, it's like really easy work, oh my god. They compare to Starbucks when I used to work there, this is like simple. I'm like always in a good mood, I'm like, fuck yeah dude. Like I could do doubles there easily, although like, then again my feet will hurt, but like, it's not that bad. I'm gonna do this and I'll be right back. So, um, I have this, like, one chef manager, um, he's pretty dope, you know, he's, he's, like, he teaches me, like, a lot about the food, like, the names and stuff, because, like, when I serve them, like, meat and spaghetti, <laughs> and we're back, yep, anyway, so, part of our, like, I don't want to say, like, I guess bonuses as a house worker is you get free food at night. Not like restaurant food, but like whatever they like whip up, you can take home. Yeah, so there was this one night where I was like working with him. And, hold on. And one of the house workers came over and was like, hey chef, here's your free food. And he was like, oh yeah, what about my friend? And I was like, your friend? And he was like, yeah, we're besties. And I was like, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's like good to know. So then the entire time after that, I was like, so should I make us like best friend bracelets? Like, do you want a necklace? Like, I'll get the pink one, you get the purple one. And he was like, oh, you know, we're not allowed to wear that to work. Who time is rough. God damn. Hold up. Mm, no, hold on. I have to like redo this one. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Honestly, here's a trick for y'all. If you all put primer as like a makeup wipe, it works out real well. Like that. It's great. And I was like, we can get like BFF like matching rings. And he was like, oh, that's only for like wedding band. I was like, I mean, we could be. Like, married. <laughs> just, like, running with it. And I just, like, could see the wheels turning in his head. Like, bitch, I shouldn't have said anything. So the next time I'm gonna see him, I'm gonna be like, Oh my god, I know exactly what we should get. We should get, like, matching best friend tattoos. Like, we can wear that to work. And every time I see him, I'm like, Hey, bestie. <laughs> These are not even whatsoever, but I... Should I redo it? I'm gonna redo this one too, cause fuck it. I have all the time in the world. Also, he's like not my type, so they don't even like get it twisted. Which I should probably tell him that, like, you know, I'm joking, right? Just to make sure, cause like I knew I don't want him to think like I'm actually hitting on him, cause that's awkward. Also, my eyeliner is like never fucking perfect, so like, if it looks like shit, then it looks like shit. Cause like I don't know what happened to like elves, like formula but it's like really watery so for my hair i like to use the uh, new look garnier i think as i say it fruits it's just like a green bottle i think i got this at like safeway because it was like the only one that they had and i saw a tiktok trend at the time and i was like i want to try to get curly hair and it turns out i have very curly hair like nice ass curls like when I do it properly and I was like all these fucking years in high school I was burning the shit out of my hair with a fucking curling iron and all you had to do is put fucking like conditioner in my hair like so fucking weird should have known but yeah so I put like this in I just put like whatever amount because I also need to get a haircut, but we're not going to do that right now. And then I'm just going to scrunch it up. 
until I feel like it's good enough. Um, let me tell you about the time I almost killed a customer. It's great, fucking terrifying. So, um, there was this one lady. We were, like, outside on the patio. This one lady was like, hey, can you, like, open the umbrella? Like, the sun is, like, right in my face. And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, I totally do that. Never opened one of these umbrellas in my life before. <laughs> my logic was, and let me pull on the, like, pole. And so I thought, like, the whole thing, like, would go up if you, like, push it up, you know? Wasn't working. So then, I see one of my coworkers, and he's like, here, I'll help you in a second. And I was like, okay, cool. But my stubborn ass was like, I'm going to figure it out. So, um, I pulled on the base. It turns out it wasn't even screwed in. Meanwhile, this is like a, like, 20 pound umbrella. Like, these are some big boy umbrellas, you know? And, um... It wasn't screwed in, and so the whole umbrella came out, and I was like, oh fuck, because there's a couple, like, customers in front of me, and the thing fucking falls, right, and I'm, like, holding it at the base, I'm like, oh fuck, and, um, it nearly misses, like, like, it might have been, like, I don't even know, like, a foot away from the customer that was in front of me but from like my angle I thought it hit her and I was like oh fuck but she didn't like move or anything also the guy that was like facing my direction was like unfazed I was like did you not just see me almost like hit your girl like what the fuck maybe he was eating maybe he like missed it but I was like oh my fucking god so I'm holding this like 20 pound umbrella like this meanwhile I fucking like trip over like the table light so my shoe falls off i have to catch myself because i'm still holding the umbrella there's two wine bottles on the table and since i tripped over the table the table fucking moves and now i'm trying not to, to drop the umbrella catch myself not break the fucking wine bottles that are on the table making sure this lady is okay that i didn't just fucking hit her and my co-worker is standing like five feet away from me he was like Bro, I just told you you should have waited. So then, I'm like about to drop the umbrella because it's so fucking heavy. This thing is like huge, you know? So then he runs over and he helps me. He's like, oh my god. He's like, are you okay? And I was like, thank you. I almost died. Because I almost fucking fell too. Just like, can you just like imagine tying old me trying to like fix this umbrella and it just comes unscrewed, falls down. I catch it and I trip while doing that and I almost fall and break all these fucking wine bottles like I wish I had that on like security cam footage because it was fucking hilarious there's my story hope you enjoyed I'm gonna buy a new phone but I'm just gonna go to Verizon and be like yo fix my storage space like give me a new chip like I have no storage so I'm gonna do that with my money and then I'm gonna save some of it for uh to paint my car because that's like i think the last thing it needs is a fucking paint job and although i do have to put on a new hood for it so that's not gonna even happen until like the summertime so yeah and then honestly with biden being president we might go back on lockdown so that means i have to save all my money so i can pay my fucking car bill for however long we're locked down for but like once there's like no more lockdowns, I'm gonna do a whole like room transformation. Maybe not like a whole transformation. Like I wanna fix my vanity, I wanna fix this thing over here, like I'm asking for an Xbox <laughs> for Christmas, which I think Justin's gonna give me his old one. Because he's gonna get the new one. And that means I just need a monitor. And I think Justin's gonna give me one of, his, one of his controllers. So, yeah. I'm gonna be a gamer girl. I'm gonna suck so bad, but that's fine. So, I wanna be a gamer girl. It's my New Year's <laughs> resolution. So, yeah. Um, anyway. 
Speaking of room transformation, I also want to redo my entire fucking wardrobe because your girl needs a change in her outfit attires and I want to spend all my money on clothes, so. Not that I already, like, don't do. Like, I literally ordered a jacket. Oh my god, and let me talk about this fucking jacket. So I got this jacket, right? from Target and it was like a jean jacket it had like Sherpa on the inside like I just wanted a jean jacket so I can wear over my hoodies that's all I want you know so I got this jacket it was like $35 it was beautiful it was oversized everything I wanted but I didn't have a hoodie on that day so I couldn't like try it on in store you know which you can't really do anyway but like you know what I mean so let me put on some blush. So I bring it home, right? And I try it on. Meanwhile, I'm like fucking four foot nine, and I try on like an oversized jean jacket that I just bought, and I look like I'm like 400 pounds. Like I cannot believe how fat I look in this fucking jean jacket. It was like a size medium. I don't know if it was for boys or girls. It had wild fable on it. I don't know. So I was like, oh my god, I have to return it. I'm so sad. Cause I look like I weigh 400 fucking pounds and all these like insta-betty girls are like, oh my god, look at me, I'm so cute. And I'm over here looking like a fucking meatball. I was like, oh my god. So I returned it and I ordered a size extra small and it should be here in a couple days, I think on Thursday. Today is, no, well, today is Thursday. No, I think they said the 18th. I think they said the 18th, so. I ordered that. So hopefully that one's better. Because like, it, was, it was huge. But like, I didn't think it was going to be that big. But it was like a nice soft denim too. Like that worn in feel. So like, I'll show you when I get that. If it looks good or not. <laughs> if it looks bad, I probably won't show you. Why do I look like Voldemort? Why do I always look like Voldemort? It's not fun. Also, I love to talk about this, but anytime when I like, I don't know if this happens to you, but like anytime when I talk about like, oh my god, a boy I'm seeing, or like whatever, like anything good happens, like I start telling people about it, they fucking disappear. They don't really disappear, but they're like, they're like less interested. I'm like, anyway, so I'm seeing this boy. <laughs> Cute. Adorable. Um, you know, it's going well. We're not like in a relationship or anything. We've just been seeing each other. So that's nice. It's a really cool car. I love cars. So. It's nice. He drives really fast. I love it. Oh my god, let me tell you about this one time then. <laughs> this is such a pointless ass story. But there was this one time. I was sleeping. And, um, I was hungry, so I was like, let's go get food. And he was like, okay. So then we went to, like, Wendy's or whatever, because it was fucking, like, late. And no nothing was, like, really open. And he was like, what do you want? And I was like, can I just get some fries? And I was like, for right? And he was like, that's all you want? And I was like, I love fries, what do you mean? And he was like, okay. And so I handed him my pink credit card, and he was like, oh, it's pink. And I was like, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I thought we were gonna go straight back to his place after we picked up food. And so I was like waiting, you know. It's been like, it should, it should have been only like a, like a 10 minute car ride. So then I'm like waiting. It's been like 20 minutes. And I'm like, oh, and I don't want to eat in this car because, like, dude, I, <laughs> on our first date, we went to this Greek place, which is fucking bomb. Amazing food, hands down, 10 out of 10. Um, and I had leftovers on my first date, and I left it like on my car seat, and it was in a paper bag. And um, let me tell you, I got this like salad chipotle thing, and um, the dressing spilled out of the bag, not even out of the bag, like through the bag, onto my car seat. And then there was a stain on my fucking car seat, and then I was scared that. 
I stay in his like car because I was sitting in his car too and I was like fuck I was like is your car okay and he was like yeah my car's fine and I'm sitting over here with my stained car seats and I wash them I wash them once they're still fucking there it's like a little better but it's still fucking there it makes me so mad because I never put like food in my car seats but like it was in a paper bag like I thought it was gonna be fine and I ended up staining my car seats anyway so back to this other story. So then I was like waiting 20 minutes, right? And I was like, don't want to eat in his car because like I have been PTSD from my last experience. <laughs> so I was sitting there. And then I feel something like, what? <laughs> like from my like food bag and I was like, what? And so all the condensation from my Sprite got onto my bag of my fries and it made a hole into my fries bag and I was just sitting there with a fucking like <laughs> wet bag and some like like only like one or two fries were like wet but then I was like fuck I can't just sit here with like fries all over my lap and so I was like I think it was like I must have asked like, asked, like um maybe like 20 minutes later and I was like hey can I eat in your car and he was like yeah and I was like <laughs> and then I realized because we've been driving for so long and I was like I don't even care if I get get up right now because like he's like so fine um <laughs> anyway so like we've been driving for like ever it seems like and I was like where the fuck are we going so I'm like looking out the window like trying to figure out where we are because like I'm not gonna ask like oh man so spontaneous like don't run the moment <laughs> so fucking annoying and um I see like a body of water and like almost like a city and I was like what the fuck I was like where the fuck are we and then I realized we're in DC <laughs> and I was like ah oh, how cute we love it here and we saw like a super got pulled over and we're like no my man and yeah it was very cute and then I ate all my crimes it was a good time um I'm gonna put on highlighter is it highlighter did you hear that highlighter I wanted to put on my highlighter um put on my highlighter sound like it didn't make a fucking difference but I swear okay I'm just gonna use my finger because I don't get shit I use this like really cheap one and it works just fine although I'm pretty sure it makes me break out but give a shot okay put on some chapstick change now I'm going to target that's my fucking do they cover because mine has been broken okay I'm back from target first thing I thought this was a duvet cover it's not it's a comforter thing so I bought the wrong thing so that's great so I have something to return but um I think I'll just like look on Urban Outfitters or something okay next up did I need this? No. Did I buy it anyway? Absolutely. You want to guess what it is? It's another hoodie. But this one's like a zip up. Oh my god. This is in the men's section. And it's like this like olive green. Army green. It's super cute. This was $30. I saw some flannels that I liked. It was like this like black and gray one. They had a green and like black and blue one a couple of weeks ago, but I can't find any anymore. And that was like a couple of weeks ago, but I saw this black and gray one and that was $30 in the men's section. So it was like, I do want it, but I'm just gonna wait till it goes on sale. So then, when I was walking by, I saw this one, and I was like, absolutely, and it has all the fuzz in it, and I have so many jackets like this. I have one black that I wear all the time, but this, like, green one, though. Let me try it on, actually. I got a size small, because, like, all of mine are, like, oversized, so, like, I just wanted something more fitted. Look how cute. With, like, my red hair love okay so there's that as far as how fitted this is for being like a men's uh, next up also another green color I got this tank top and it was on sale for like seven dollars and I like how like 
big the straps are because sometimes I don't want my bra strap showing which is a very rare sentence for me to say but like you know cute it has little buttons <laughs> You can actually undo the buttons. How cute. I didn't know if you can undo them or not. <laughs> but yeah, there's my little tank top that I got. Super cute. I've been trying to go for like a more like insta batty grunge vibe. Although I'm sure most of my closet's going to just be like comfy. Like Alicia Marie comfy once I redo my wardrobe, which I can't wait to fucking do. I hope you like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bitches!